all new at six, parked cars taking over a Boston neighborhood, but none of these drivers actually lives here. They are MBTA customers looking to cut down on the cost of their commute. And as WBZ's Lisa Greshi shows us, neighbors are fed up with this congestion. The Fairmont Hill neighborhood in Hyde Park filled with cars. Well, it is crowded and uh, we're not used to it. And the people who live here are willing to bet none of them are theirs. You shouldn't have to walk back to your house because you can't find a parking space. They say ever since the T raised the fare at the Reedville station, which has a parking lot, commuters started driving to Fairmont, which has a cheaper fare, but no parking lot, leading them right into the neighborhoods. We lowered Fairmont's uh, station to Zone 1A fares, which is only $2.50. So this is the popular place to park. Now cars are parked up on the sidewalks on both sides of the street. With a car parked here and another one over here, some residents have trouble getting out of their own driveways. Backing out, you don't have any visibility at all. Boston City Councilor Michelle Wu says it's part of a bigger issue, making fares and parking more affordable at every stop. If they have to pay that higher commuter rail fare, it's anywhere from four dollars to five or six dollars difference per ride, one direction per day, and so that adds up really quickly. Wu says now is the time people should attend both the city and MBTA hearings and push for these changes. While an MBTA spokesperson says fares have not been raised in two years, they did recently change some parking rates, which could include one possible solution: a decrease in parking at Reedville by two dollars. They have to get to work. And this commuter rail is so convenient, and we're so close to it that we can walk to it. So I'm trying to be a good neighbor. Reporting in Hyde Park, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News. Wow.